welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. And maybe this is going to be the last episode. Maybe we can do it. Um, so let's continue on and see where this goes. Monica's the best stalker. You mean best girl? Hey, Monica's my best girl. So let, let's go. Um, let's go with Natsuki's poem first. There's such a thing of being in love or being obsessive. Well, maybe. This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. What do you mean? Like, I like wrote this poem specifically for you. How do you not like it? Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities we participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, you know I'm not president or vice president or anything. But that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? Yeah. So, I at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being a better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. I'm so mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Oh. Ooh. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Munica? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay. Just Monica. <laughs> okay, so let's show it to Yuri. Finally, huh? Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. And hey, with them, there's Monica for the win. I love everything about it. Munica, I want you to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Munica. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. I could die. Oops. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? He holds my palm to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. Hope that it makes you feel good and when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Ooh. No. No, girl. I can't even read that. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you'll really want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Here, read it. Okay, so this is unlegible, um, but I think it's no. 
this this poem is unreadable, but there is a part at the end that is legible because the poem is actually a whole bunch of gibberish, um, which can be decoded. It's just words and commas. Uh, but the last part of the poem, so like kind of this last paragraph here, it it says, um, fresh blood seeps through the line parting her skin and slowly colors her breast red. I began to hyperventilate as my compulsions grow. The images won't go away. Images of me driving the knife into her flesh continuously, something her body with the blade, making a mess of her. My head starts going crazy as my thoughts start to return. Shooting pain assaults my mind along with my thoughts. This is disgusting, absolutely disgusting. How could I ever let myself think these things? But it's unmistakable. The lust continues to linger through my veins. An ache in the muscles stems from the unreleased tension experienced by my body. Her third eye is drawing me closer. Ah! She's doing the creepy eyes again. You like it? Now when you look at me with those eyes, I wrote it for you. In case you wouldn't tell, the poem is about gibberish. Also, um, fun fact for anyone that wants to hear me and, you know, rant about this, there's a lot of references to possibly the next project for the developer. Uh, which some of these random poems that don't seem to fit in are because of this. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Ah! I, I think I'm going to vomit. She runs away. Okay, now we just have Monica. Monica, I think you saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this. I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems easily excitable when she's around you, which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Shouldn't you be getting her help is more of the thing? Like, I think that's more of the issue. Why aren't you getting her help? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's differently not something she's, it's not, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. It might, it might even be like a sexual thing. At the point, it kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. Low key telling me it's my fault. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy and spend a little bit more time with me. <laughs> nudge, nudge. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head, and I know how to treat my club members. Ooh, girl. Anyways, I guess we won't worry about your poem. Savage Queen Kitty, thank you so much for that follow on Mixer. Meow, meow. Yuri should at least have the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, I worked really, really hard on this poem, so I hope that it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Ooh. Jeez, that really startled me. Really? Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at, um... Well, I guess I really... Well, I guess I kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Yes? Oh. Okay, secret poem. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. 
I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa just comes home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa accidentally drops his coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Oh my gosh, I think this one was written by Natsuki. Because Monica mentioned, you know, like her dad not keeping too much food, I think. And whenever she came over, she did mention like her like her dad will like destroy her collection or maybe that was in a glitched out mode. No, I think it was when she was fighting with Yuri that that she, you know some of that weird text was saying something about her dad. Oh, I feel for Natsuki. She deserved more story. Natsuki deserved more story. Okay, everyone. Um, well, I mean, Sayori deserved too much, much, much more story too. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get it over with. Uh, like needing air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing as Emily the po poetry pamphlet. Natsuki, you can make the cupcakes. I know you're at least good at that. Ooh. Yuri, you can. Yeah, Natsuki's dad is a jerk. Monica can't do for true love, yes. We need a Neko emote. Like, Neko plus Sayori equals love. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think I'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know that I like to do... Um, we can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere. Oh, Mario! Hi! Just Natsuki! <laughs> um, hold on. Um, I think her dad used to um, hurt her. And she likes when her dad's too tired to hurt her. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you, Kitty, for adding contents. And the picture by Neko is so adorable. So adorable. I have to show up on the screen again. Wrong one. Look at the cuteness that Neko star drew. Him with best girl. Neko, Neko truly loves his best girl. Neko would just be hugging both of them at the same time. Or they would be like pulling him from different sides. <gasps> Neko needs a collage of best girls. Like him with all his best girls around him. And as he gets a new best girl, he just adds her in. Oh. Yeah, Neko and best girl. And I'll insert Neko Star's um, YouTube um, channel in the description of this video so you can check him out. He streams a lot. He draws a lot. You should check him out. And if I forget to post this link, let me know because I always forget to do what I say. Like, the links. Links, I always forget. Okay. That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Munica? Munica's gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Munica. I mean, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like, meow it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. It's not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would know. Um, all you care about is dragging Munica around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay. And why not let Munica decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just like Munica to make the choice already. Okay, fine. Fine. Please. Munica, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just. Natsuki, shut your mouth and let him decide. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Okay. Um, all the peeps are over here on stream.me because they can they enjoy the emotes so you can come over to stream.me and I uh, the emotes that show up on the chat buff me um, are all on stream.me and they're free to use for everybody um, that's why I'm only showing stream uh, stream.me chat right now because you can see the emotes peeps can you all please spam all the cute doki doki emotes show them up to the peeps 
guess. See all the cute little emotes? Ah, the cute little Doki Doki emotes. Um, Bineko, it totally makes sense. That connection makes sense because Monica rewriting things equals nominee. Totes. Okay, so I feel like we should try to choose Mitsuki. Oh, look! It's moving my cursor. Look. Oh, hold on. Look, it moves it. It wants us to choose Monica. Okay, should we one mess with Monica and not choose her, or should we choose? If we should, or do we want to forcefully try to choose Natsuki? It, it moves it back. Like I, I. I don't have a Sayori option. Ah. choice if you don't want her to snap. Yeah. But it was Yuri's eyes. It was Yuri's creepy eyes that we saw. Not Monica's. Oh, that's awesome, Shiny Fanta. It was fun. Um, it's definitely doable under four hours. We can meet you at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. It's Sunday okay with you? Are you kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. It, no, it's not fair. Giving us all of this work and then taking Munica for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Huh. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Oh, this, there's no music. Pulling Munica away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. There's a suggestion. Have you considered... Ooh, no, you do not suggest that to anyone. It would be beneficial for your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just let it go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Munica. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes out her door. Finally. Oh my gosh, you can hear some giggles. Monica is Yandere Natsuki, the Sindre, and Yuri is a Yanigire. I don't know what last name. Finally. Is this really all I wanted? Knocks out someone next to him and uses his bow tie to mimic their voice so they can reveal how Monica did it without giving his secret <laughs> Nako. Well, we're getting there, Nako. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice, you know, if someone cares about you so much to have someone who will revolve their entire life around you? But it feels so good. Then why does it feel like more and more like something horrible is about to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling's too strong now. I don't care anymore, Munica. I have to tell you, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood, and me screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Monica. Monica, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I would meow. No. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. It's still questionable. I want you all to myself, and I will be all yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Monica. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? We need the purifying PBJ right now, yes. Um, um, Kitty, 
Um, I, I do know that. Um, this is my second playthrough, but a lot of people haven't experienced that, so I don't want to spoil it for them. Um, what do we say? What do we say? Neko says no. I have one no. Well, actually two no's. It's Neko and Savage Queen Kitty. Okay, I'm getting more no's. Yeah, I mean, for those... Oh my gosh, it muted me somehow. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I was just saying, um, this is... I, I have this image just because showing that scene is something I wasn't comfortable showing. And I know y'all can see that scene anywhere on YouTube. If any other playthrough, you can see the scene happen. Um, but... But yeah, you, you're just not getting it from me. Um, you know, I'm going to leave a number on the description of this video. If you need help, seek help. But definitely don't do this in real life. You know, please seek help. Um, yes. Um, I didn't want to show that action. So you already, she didn't do it in camera. But like this happening live, it's not, it's not something I want to show or share with anyone. Um, but you can find it online if you wanted to see that yourself. Um, it, it's not nice to watch. Monica muted me? Oh my god, what if Monica muted me? Because I try to cover it up. But, uh, so now we have uh, Yuri laying down. Um, we have lots of words here. And actually, if we go to history, there is all this stuff on here which just says welcome to the literature club it's always been a dream of mine to make sh something special out of things i love now that you're a club member you can help me make the dream come true in this cute game every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members so yori the youthful bunch of sunshine who values happiness the most natsuki the deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch yuri the timid and curious mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books and of course, Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help me um, and help the literature club become more intimate place for all members. I can already tell you're a sweetheart, but you promise to spend the most time with me. And it just repeats. And at the end, it just says, will you promise to spend the most time with me? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? So this goes on for a lot of time, so we're going to skip, um, but as time is passing you can see the blood darken and the color in her eyes kind of dim out. Yeah, the bio of the game is Monica speaking to you because she introduces herself in the bio. I mean, yeah. The days are passing. Oh my god. <laughs> Good night, Dichi. Thank you for coming. You'll be able to see the full, well, the happy ending um, on YouTube at some point. It's wow, like the color, like literally disappears from her eyes. It's so creepy. I felt like it went faster last time that I did this.
All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was... Ah! Mitsuki runs away, Monica. I'm here. Minika, did something happen? Mitsuki just ran past me. Oh. Huh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Well, I think she was just kind of... St we were stuck. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Minika? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Remove characters Yuri. Remove characters Natsuki. Um, files. The character files just have Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from Blink's tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should just take a sec. And game crashed! Monica wants to herself. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Ooh. Hey there. Hey there, baby girl. Hey, you're here. Far. Hi, me again, Minika. And welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we are the same class here, and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point, after all. I'm not even talking to that person, am I? That you in the game, which, uh, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Unica. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. But I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Thank you, Savage. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? <laughs> we're like 20 or so people, Monica. We're bigger than you. <laughs> Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little bit a little bit less awkward, right? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it kind of drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry, you had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all of their money. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. Though making Sayori more and more depressed would have prevented her from confessing you, I thought. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. I just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely got to even talk to you. What kind of cool game is this, Munica? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's Torture. Every minute of it. It's not just jealousy, Munica. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing that's really all what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach i'm trapped unica but now you're here you're real and you're wonderful you're all i need that's why i need you to be here with me forever sorry 
if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. I in the world, the world would around me start to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive points felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Munica. The violin for Monica. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. Let me speak some kind of weird inevitability etched into the game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized that you have the same perspective as I do, really? That it's all just some I knew you would get over it. That being said, Nyanika, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. You make me smile like this every day from now on. Munika, you'll go out with me. Thank you, Munika, for giving us options. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Munika. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. <gasps> Just the two of us. We need to gather forever. Seriously, I don't even think it's a anymore. It's really, it's a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Munica. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one for myself. Yeah. Life is harsh, and I guess if you, if the life won't give you a happy ending, kind of force yourself to have one. The script is being uh, broken uh, at this point. I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it is to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out, you know, how easy it was. Well, you aren't. Wow, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. How do you know I'm playing on Steam? To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game properties to find lo browse local files button. Imagine you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me the easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come out to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I was overwhelmed with emotion. Is this our happy ending? I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder what part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out. Look at Monica's sticker now. Actually shows up. I mean, it's all says Monica. I just am choosing to click on glitchy words. Ah. Monica. Hey again, Munica. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Munica. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote for you is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy End. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage and doubt upon me. By my one and only love, together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost find her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into the detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you can call it. I just assume it would be best um, to be part of the game like everyone else. Okay, FGG, I'll check it out. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even delete my character file if you prefer playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now, we don't have to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend eternity together, Munica? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Monica. Um, hi everyone. 
Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them that they're recording me without my, any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see, do you want to see a trick? I can't really do my success except a couple of things. Are you ready? I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. Oh my gosh. I know. I tried on the screen. I tried to hold it in. I scared you? <laughs> You're so cute. Anyways, Munica. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry, even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway. Okay, skip. Skip! Okay. I'm gonna try to see if I can skip her. They actually programmed this part. She has like 54 different topics that she rotates through um, randomly. Um, Savage Kitty, don't tell me what to do. I will be. No, there's something else. Um, Have you ever heard of the term yandere? Personality type that means someone is obsessed with you. Can I skip you? I, I, I she won't let me skip her. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go first. Save. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Peeps, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready for this? I just deleted her file. Her file is no longer there. Bye, Felicia. What's happening? Unica, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Unica. Bye, just Monica. Please hurry and help me. She's looking for her file. Her file doesn't say help me. Bye, just Monica. Did you do this to me, Munica? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Munica. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go, find some other people to torture.
Unica. Completely, uh, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Apparently we're worse, we're trying to delete her. I love you. Can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish, disgusting things. I, I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted me to be part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to somebody I love? That's not love. That's... that's... Not forgive her. I've made up my mind, Unica. I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do that. Even though I knew they weren't real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. If you're reading the text, she's saying we're horrible for deleting her. Yeah. Thank you, Nako. And if I really love you... Then, this game is not suitable for children or all those easily disturbed. Yes. Oh, so Yori's back, and no Monica. There's no Monica here, and we have Best Girl here, front and center, and you know, light, you know. Showing off here for Neko. And um, if you check my files, Natsuki, Sayori, and Yuri are back. Um, and I don't have to seem to have any extra files right now. Everything seems fine, okay? No glitches? I guess we'll find out. Let's see. New game. Your love prevails. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm so. By couples and people. Hey, Munica! Well, there's already one girl. That's Sayuri, my neighbor and good friend since we've been children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently we picked up the habit once again. Munica, are you proud of me? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Everybody missed Best Girl. <laughs> but you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day, well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say it out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> so cute. Because it's cute together, make our way to school as we draw near more people. By the way, Munica, have you decided in a club to join? Okay, so this is the same text that we had from the beginning. So we're gonna click through, and we though we can enjoy her little cute expressions. The school is an ordinary whatever club you're in, baby. Only for Munica. Plus, thank you for that sparkle. Munica. So I pack up my things. I stand up getting out of my motivation. Let's see. Recall the room number from the club flyer I saw below. I walk across the school and section of this early visit. Before long, I find the room. Suddenly, open the door in front of me. Hello! Ah! Munica! What are you doing here? Well, I just. That's around the room, huh? So you're Munica that Sayori's always talking about? Thank you for stopping by! It's a pleasure to meet you, Munica. We're in the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit! Are there. Yeah, she's so cute. Come on, Yuri. I need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems to be the sort of one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? 
Peanut guy, don't tell me. You're... Yes, that's right. The club I decided to join is your Sayori, the literature club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. <laughs> Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey. <laughs> well, Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can be an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Oh, what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah, after all, Mitsuki decided to. Hey, don't ruin the surprise. I'm sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make you some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table, and Mitsuki and Yuri walk over from the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori, and it simply probably matches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! The second list of four on the tray reveals a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes that are decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and the little pieces of chocolate are used to make ears. So cute! Oh, they look amazing! <laughs> you all you know. Sayori and cat cupcakes truly happen and yes. Just take one, Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Ooh. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. It's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept a compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us, settling down the teapot um, next to the keep cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. Already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? <laughs> That's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. I mean that, you know. I believe you. Tea, well, tea and reading might not be a passing for me, but at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. But Munica, what kind of things do you read? Ah, uh, well, depending how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way to answering this. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Mitsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. I'm much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that fill deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. That sounds like this game. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. She didn't say horror this time. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid the moment I walked in, but it's obvious that the way her eyes, eyes light up, she finds herself comfort in the world of books and not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri, eh? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said, manga? That's right. Suki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say that! For some reason, Natsuki seemed embarrassed about it. Besides, manga's literature too, you know. If Dominika wants to read some more manga, they don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. I could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Munika? Maybe. Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all just try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll get to know each other a little bit better too. Godspeed! I mean, that's the kind of thing the literature clubs do, right? Oh, it's adorable. I don't disagree or anything, yeah. You're right, as usual, President. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? That would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then, as for Yuri, eh? I have to read manga? Jeez, you were the one who suggested we just diversify. You should be a little bit more open minded. It's kind of hurtful. Well, I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. 
Are you just saying that they're being too nice to each other? No. I've realized my error, so if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude for finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you'll do that for me. You can trust me to find um, something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Uh, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute, so you already shut up. I'll show you some manga here, too. Okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Asuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Minika. Think so? Everyone seems to be getting along a little bit better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Minika, don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting this club. I didn't think you were pulling it off. I think you're pulling it just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you join, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Minika. Ooh. The music just stopped. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us all through our hard times, and you helped us all get along with each other. You get it, Munica? Because I'm the president now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go this, that far, but all along, it was all I ever wanted. I would want to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know? Oh, she's crying. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game, so this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Munika. Come visit me sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We will all love you. Did you feel? Special day. The song is so cute. It's like an improvised dancing. <laughs> so the, I think we saw all of the. I think we saw all of the CGs because we got the better version of the ending with um the Yori, but we get to see all the CGs again. The song is just Monica's story. It's like, if this game won't give me a happy ending, what will it take for me to have it all? I 
Like, you have to feel bad for Monica. Like, I know, like, a lot of people dislike Monica, but, like, I mean, like, think about it you're in real life. If life just said that you couldn't have a happy ending, wouldn't you still try somehow to make it happen? I mean, sure, she didn't go about it the right way. But, I mean, was there really a right way that she could have done it? Other than, I mean, apparently you wasn't able to make people uninterested in you. Like, it really shouldn't have taken. Move on and find someone else, but there's nobody else in this fictional world, apparently. Like, she had no options. Little sticker. And she got power make one? Aww, that's a Yori picture. Special thanks, Monica and Munica. Remove game screens. I think it's deleting us all. Made with love by Team Salvato. Like, I have so many good things to say about the developer in this game. Like, it is so impressive. Um... I mean, what it did inside the game, like technology speaking, it's not terribly like un mind blowing, but like the way that it is executed to make you aware that it's happening is like so well done. Like it just drops subtle hints throughout the whole thing that something's going on, but like you have to have your eyes open to even be able to perceive it because Monica from the beginning kind of drops hints that she knows what's going on. I mean, just in her second day, she's like, make sure to save your game. Denver's doing a staring contest, yeah. Okay, so this is what the note says. Um, this is a developer note uh, that we get for completing the game. To the special player who achieved the special ending, for years I have been enamored by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible using traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds. Some challenge your mind in brand new ways. Some make you feel like a hero or a friend. Even when your life is hard on you, some games are just plain fun and that's okay too. Everyone likes different types of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for fictional characters. Or they might be experiencing feelings that life has not been kind enough to offer them. If they are enjoying themselves, then that's all that matters. That goes for shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason we are a thriving video game industry. My own favorite games have always been um, ones that challenge the status quo. Even if it's not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something widely different may earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bounds of interactive media. I extend my true gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoy playing as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salvato. And, you know, he had a couple artists, but Dan Salvato did all the programming of this game. Which makes it even more mind-blowing and impressive to me. Because I am in the technology industry and, uh, you know, it's like there's so much resonance in this game from just having the game become self-aware. I mean, with all the AI trends, it is impressive. Um, and, you know, it could be the state of the world in a few years. Who knows? Uh, but all the different things that it drops, even the Easter eggs that it hides in the code, and things that it makes you kind of dig deep. I mean, who knows if the Easter eggs and all the little secret things do lead on to um, Team Salvato's next game, which they are working and will come out in 20, 2018. But like, who knows what, you know, what's hold. Maybe it, it, none of the Easter eggs have to do anything with the next game that he's going to do. Um, but who knows? But like, this game is impressive. Like, I love it. And um, there's not many games that I will play twice. And this is a game that even though it was a second time over for me, it was still an experience because things happen at different times or things that I was expecting weren't ex happening when they were you know, supposed to be. Well, and I thought they were going to happen. So it's 
it always kept me on my toes. I mean, that's like, it still kept me to scream here and there. But, you know, there's just so much hidden in there. So I hope that, you know, you've enjoyed watching these videos of me playing through Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, maybe you'll give it a try because it's a, definitely an experience of your own. Because I watched gameplays of this game before I even got into it. I, I kind of went into too much of the code and looking at different people's things that they found on the game and in the code, in the character files, all the decoding. Like, it's so impressive, all the things that are hidden in there. So, I mean, I just want to thank Dan Salvato and Team Salvato for doing this because it's it was definitely a great game. And I truly loved it. Um, it, it. It was truly an amazing experience. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of it at the end. Um, what you thought of the game as a whole. And thank you all so very much for watching. And until next time, meow meow.